It is. Look, they were negative 73 yards or whatever it was against Michigan State running exactly the football. And I really you can throw that out because that was bad snaps and everything. But the two running backs, Taylor and Brooks, ran it 13 times for negative one yard. And we knew Michigan State might have the best defensive front in the entire country. So you could kind of just throw that performance out. But you needed to see something good against San Jose State. And to come out and run the ball over and over and over and over again and score on your first two drives doing it, uh, that was good. They, that with a young offensive line, that was a statement delivered. Oh yeah. Uh, and then for Taylor to go out, Wilkerson to come in, there was another statement delivered yeah. that there's more than just those two backs at the top. Uh, you got a third guy who's really, really good. And what you said about Zach Smith to me it might be the biggest thing, um, other than the overall energy and intensity and attention to detail that this team brought in a game that they absolutely could not afford to lose. I mean, that's kind of right. the number one takeaway for me. But what Zach Smith was able to do, uh, let's say that's 1B to the 1A of the intensity and everything. Uh, in big moments, he was able to hit big throws. That touchdown pass to Denzel Carter. Like, when you have a tight end that big mm -hmm. and you have Zach Smith's arm, some of that stuff is, like, not defensible. They, right. they I mean, that is... That's a game changer for this team offensively. They're just at the start of it. It's going to be tough to be hitting at peak efficiency this weekend against Oklahoma State when, you know, the offense will probably have to be great. Right. But that was a really fine performance from the TU offense, and we have not seen very many of them. And how about this stat? I believe it was one win in 17 games against FBS competition before last year's win at UConn or against UConn. Right. They're now 3-3 three and three in their last six. Like, I feel like maybe they've turned a corner. 